All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Save the Saga series. Um, just jumping right back into here, and we're gonna take a look at what's going on. Um, as you guys saw in the last episode, I did build this um, second enclosure. So now we have the two enclosures, one on either side of the actual breeding center, uh, which should only um, make it so we can you know, the center will function a lot better, a lot quicker, and we can reach our goal uh, more efficiently and sooner. So, um, plenty of Saiga in either exhibit. If I turn the plants off, you guys can see where they all are. There's three there, a couple over there, there's one there, a couple over here, and most of the this herd, is, the original herd is gathered over here, probably not over here actually. Yeah, pretty much the whole herd is gathered over there at the moment. Um, I actually need to move a couple. Wait, we got who's this? So I got 26. Okay, this one should actually not be in here. This one should be in here. This is one of the ones we're going to release. So I'm going to keep them all in this area. So they're ready to be released. And they have to grow up in order to do that. So, uh, got all the other ones in here. There's a couple that I need to actually. Well, I'm not going to move them. I don't think I want to. Do I, I don't know if I want to still move them when they give birth or not, or just leave them where they are. I'm not sure what to do because I want to keep the ones to be. This is going to be the area to keep the ones that are going to be released. I could move the ones about to give birth into an area like this, like the medical center, because that makes some sense. But the problem with doing something like that is this is a very small area, so they're going to be quite upset by being in an area like that. Um, so I probably won't do that. Let's see who we have here. So Brianna's very close. Allison. Definitely about ready to go. Um, let's see. Yeah, but this will only open up to this. Actually, I probably should do something like I could do that. That's actually really interesting. Let's try that. I'm gonna do some real quick. Let's see, we need fences. Yes, that's the one I want right there. So if I wanted to actually move them between, allow them to move between areas, I could open this up and open that up and go ahead and do it that way so not sure if that's something I'll do or not but I like to have that option if nothing else um, so I think I'll just leave them in the herd for now go ahead and unpause this they're gonna want more space so actually what did this one say more space where is this one? Oh, they're okay they got themselves in here for some reason must have just current activity newly born, okay. Didn't know that was an activity you could do. Those ones are all going to be released into the wild once they are grown. So that might happen in this episode, it might not, I'm not sure yet. We'll just sort of have to wait and see. Um let's get this down. Really nothing we're gonna do right now except for wait and just see what's going on with Allison and Brianna. Once those two calves are born, um, depending on what gender they are, um, we may or may not keep them. At this point I might keep them. It seems like putting up a lot putting a lot up for up uh releasing a lot into the wild lately. Um, although that is the goal. I just don't want to. I want to make sure we don't release too many, 
and then the uh, breeding stock, if you will, gets too limited. So Allison is going to give birth. You can go over there. That must be her right there. Let's go ahead and refill these. Oh, we have a chance. Who's that? Ashton. Refill these as well. Okay, so I'm going to see what calf this is going to be. It looks like a. Here's the tricky part. Can I click on it? It's in the grass. And I got the grass, of course. Oh no, I got it. Okay. 32 is a male, right? Yes, male. Okay, I think I'll keep this male actually. So that means I got I grab my book for my names and find a name. What name do I like? Um actually here's a name I like. I'm gonna go with Boris. Right, Boris, welcome to the herd. So that's another male that'll be staying. Which is good. I think we did need another male. Uh, particularly in this exhibit over here. Or enclosure. It's not really an exhibit, because an exhibit would imply that somebody is going to be um, looking at it like a um, attraction of some sort, you know, and that's not the case, so it's not really a zoo, obviously. Um, and now we just gotta wait for Brianna. That is it. I don't know if she's in this exhibit. That's Niyama. Cinnabon is now pregnant. Okay, so Cinnabon has got a bun in the oven. Um, where is Cinnabon, anyways? Right there. Father. Okay, so Niyama and Daniel are her grand mother and grandfather. Mate is Trotters. Mother's Brianna. Mother's Caleb. Okay. Okay, so Brianna has also just given birth, and the calf is a okay, a female this time. And I'm actually gonna keep this one as well. So, book of names. What do we got? What do we got? Let's see if I can find the names. All right, here we go. Do I like Iris? Okay, so Iris is now a part of the herd as well. Or this herd. We do have two herds now. Lily is now pregnant. First year anniversary. So we've been doing this for one year. Okay, mate Chiron. Sassily, Chalice Dorothy. Okay. All right. Zoo has become more famous, which is interesting because we have no guests and it's not been opened up to the public in any way. So I didn't think we could even get Zoo chain, but apparently we can. Didn't know that. So, everything seems to be going pretty well. We have several calves that will be released into the wild fairly soon. A couple more on the way, a couple that were just born, which will help the herd, uh, the two herds we have here, the two breeding herds. Um, I'm also curious, because I don't think, I think this series will, pro will still go on for another 
several episodes, um, but I feel like we've probably, in a way, already succeeded because I think at this point the the herd seems like I won't I won't have any issue breeding enough to release them to release the acquired amount to the wild 25 because they're breeding pretty quickly, um, breeding very um, it's very healthy both herds are healthy breeding herds so I don't think I'll have a problem with that. Um, so in a way, I'm already kind of looking forward to what the next series I'm going to do is. I would like to do another one sort of like this. Um, but I don't know what species to do exactly. I know you guys gave me a few suggestions when I did the first episode of this series. Um, but I'd like to hear what other suggestions you guys have. So go ahead and leave in the comment section your ideas or what other endangered animals I could potentially do a series like this for. Um, that would be cool. Uh, I definitely know there's a lot out there um, that I could help, but I gotta make sure it's A, one that exists in the game, and B, one that I will actually be able to breed enough to make it a, a viable series. Um, like, plus certain animals are very difficult to breed. Certain animals don't really breed, like, for example, I know amphibians are kind of tough to breed in this game, um, because they need water, and they need, you know, to be able to transport the tadpoles into, like, an actual tank, and it's not impossible, it's just a little bit annoying, and a little bit more difficult, um, but I don't think, there's really not that many amphibians in the game anyways, uh, so I'm not really thinking too much in those terms. I do like when they move in a herd like this. Looks awesome. So, yeah. Um, you guys can let me know what you think I should do next. Definitely a lot out there that I can choose from, though, like I said. So, alright, guys. So, um, just got a new calf in the herd. Um, courtesy of Cinnabon. So we're gonna find a name for this one as well. Go ahead and keep him around, seeing it's a male. And I'm going to go with, uh, we're gonna go with this. Um, is that what you Yeah. Henry. There we go. Um, and I see over there at the top um, some of these calves are going to adults, so we can start releasing them to the wild actually. So I can find the ones who are adults. There we go. There we go. That's another one released. And another one. I'm not sure how many that makes exactly. I think there's another one I could release as well. Ah, here we go. Excellent. I'm not sure what that takes our total to. I think that's seven or eight, I believe. Okay, Lily has just given birth. Oh, it always takes me to, the, to these things. Ah, oh, shoot. I forget does that. Let's put the tree back. Okay, um, let's find the new calf. Should be 35, I believe. Yeah, and this one is a female. Mm. Oh, now is now pregnant. How many did we get? Um, so we got two males. Did we get another female in this episode? Yes, we did. It's Iris. So I'm actually going to put this one up for adoption. Or not adoption. Release this one to the wild, I mean. Once she goes up. Okay, Genesis is very sick. Where is she? Why is she in there? Must have spawned in there when the game loaded up. Sometimes it puts them in weird places. 
just the way it is. But should be healed now, so that's okay. That was almost quite disastrous, actually. So where is Genesis? I can't find her if you run around. Um, okay, no longer sick. Okay, she's going to eat hay, so she'll eat and drink and all that, and should be okay. Um, I want to find Niyama as well. Okay, mate, it's Daniel. Okay. Um, Rose is close to giving birth. But we're actually going to end this episode here, guys. So, hope you enjoyed that. Um, in the next episode, we'll have more calves to release into the wild, more calves being born, I'm sure, and plenty of other things going on. So, thanks again for watching. Uh, as always, you can leave your names, or name suggestions, in the comment section. I have a ton of names, probably more than I'll use, but um, go ahead and leave them anyways, and then there's always a chance they'll get used. Because I'm not really picking in a particular order, I'm just sort of picking them at random, which ones I like, which ones just sort of jump out at me. So, Dorothy's now pregnant as well, so there's another one who may need a name eventually. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next one.